Boy Soup. Story by Loris Lesensky. Pictures by Michael Marchchenko. Boy Soup. Giant woke up with a big hurting head. I am sore. I am sick. I feel awful, he said. He coughed. He moved mountains. He hacked, causing quakes. He said with a whimper, "My everything aches." Groaning, he shoveled his blankets aside and reached for his giant's home medical guide. With sofa-sized fingers, he leaped through the book, and in between sneezes so loud that he shook, he found all his symptoms. Page seventy-one: wheeziness, wheeziness, coughing begun, completely depleted, and tending to droop. The only prescription: a bowl of boy soup. Can't be," said the giant. It "Would be a disgrace." But a big greedy grin spread all over his face. Of course, if I'm ill, that's a decent excuse. And think of the broth a good boy could produce. A sweet boy. A neat boy, a boy so delicious, a giant might find himself licking the dishes. One buttery boy, or better, a group, a half dozen lads would make a wonderful soup. Catching the boys was as easy as pie. He stretched down his thick giant arm through the sky, and rested his hand at the top of a tree, where children were playing. They just couldn't see. The branch they were grabbing could grab them. Too late. That's how the giant got five boys and Kate. Why should I feel guilty? The giant began when six angry children protested his plan. It's here in this authorized medical book. Kate asked. Uh, before supper, could I take a look? She read every word in the faded ink, and said, "May I have just a minute to think?" But no! Snapped the giant. Boys into the pot. I've chills and a fever. I'm cold and I'm hot. Then, with a thunderous splat, he blew his nose. As the boys shook with fear from their heads to their toes, Kate racked her brain at a furious rate to save all her friends from this hideous fate. The giant was ready. How could they flee? Their ten rubber running shoes—that was the key. Just as the giant came closer to scoop, the lads for his horrid medicinal soup. Kate gave a signal. The tiniest look. The boys understood. They leapt to the book and started a dance, half a shuffle, half run, and jogged back and forth on page seventy-one, up the page, down the page, side step, repeat, till most of each word was erased by their feet. Now I can't check it, the giant complained, but Kate said, "I've read it. I'll gladly explain." The book said quite clearly, "Of this I am sure, boy soup is soup made by boys. That's the cure." But sniffed the giant, "I thought boys went in it. I think I'm confused. Can you give me a minute?" "Oh no!" Kate proclaimed, "You're too sick. Don't you know? We have to work fast. Come on, fellows, let's go."
boys cooked the carrots, the boys boiled the peas, then seasoned the soup with a handful of fleas. They put in some mud, some thick yellow glue, and a generous dollop of dandruff shampoo. Kate poured in pepper, red hot sauce, really, 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 really rotten bananas, and candy floss. Sour green pickles and beans in the can, all simmered together as part of the plan. And oh, the aroma, like skunk in a pot. Kate smiled her sweetest and served it up hot. In between snuffles, the giant took sips from a spoon trembling close to his great hairy lips. He scowled in suspicion but took one more taste with a huge doughy tongue much the color of paste. Then tipped the whole pot full of soup down his throat, sat back and sighed. <sighs> Till he started to bloat and the pepper the mud and the pickles combined the giant let out a most terrible whine and spit out the soup with so mighty a blast that it blew all the children down homeward at last Kate and the fellows were dented but sound when they landed back home on familiar ground. They needed new sneakers and something to do to get over the horrible shock they'd been through. The giant was not who they wanted to feed, but they had liked the cooking with Kate in the lead. So they opened a boys' restaurant as a group and served almost everything but boy soup. One day at dinner, delivery came of an extra large envelope bearing Kate's name. The giant had written, I did get your letter. Thank you for asking. I am feeling better. That medical book is from long, long ago. They boiled little boys then, even though. You're right, that it's wrong. I guess I knew it. But feeling so sick made me tempted to do it. I'm glad that you tricked me. I would have felt bad, then later realized I'd eaten a lad. I told all the giants, no boy soup for me. Sorry again, yours sincerely, Big G.